pollinators are lots of things, but mainly insects, and we're primarily talking about bees and butterflies, although there's lots of other things that can pollinate flowers. Pollinators are important because almost all plants need to be pollinated to reproduce, and they are especially important to us because so many of the foods we eat, especially fruits and vegetables, are dependent on pollinators. Pollination is so important to agriculture that in fact professional beekeepers move their colonies around the country to pollinate different plants, from blueberries in Michigan to citrus in Florida to almonds in California and more. You may be surprised to know how many different kinds of bees there are. It's more than just the honeybee and the bumblebee. In fact, in Michigan, there are hundreds of different kinds of bees, and in the United States, there are 4,000 different kinds of bees. Michigan is one of the largest producers of fruits and vegetables in the United States. And because fruits and vegetables are dependent on pollinators, pollinators are critically important to Michigan's agricultural economy, and it is necessary that we protect them. When commercial beekeepers need to move their colonies to other states to provide pollination services, our inspectors are there to inspect those colonies for diseases and invasive species to make sure they can be moved safely. If you want more pollinators in your garden, I think there are three things to consider. First is planting a range of nectar producing native plants to attract them. Two, it's providing habitat for them to live, like artificial pollinator boxes that you can find on the internet. And three, if you want to attract butterfly pollinators, you have to have more than just the nectar plant, you have to have the plant that the caterpillar eats as it's developing. For example, for a monarch butterfly, it's a milkweed plant. Another step people can take to protect pollinators is the careful use of pesticides. If you need to use pesticides to control insects in your lawn or garden, just be sure you're using pesticides that are the safest possible for pollinators. If you need to use pesticides to ensure that you're using them as safely as possible for pollinators, first, contact Michigan State University Extension for a recommendation, and second, follow the label directions. For more information on pollinators, contact Michigan State University Extension. Thank you for watching.